What's up? I got to find the best sunlight, man. The sun is over that way. The sun is over there. So I'm going to put y'all right here. I'm going to put y'all right here. Put y'all right there. What's up? Y'all can see me? Y'all can see me? Let me get my coffee. I got a cup of coffee with cream and sugar. I want to give a shout out to everybody. I want to tell you, please hit the life button when you come in the room. As soon as you come in. Yeah. What's up? Kenny, what's up, baby? Uh, let me get my coffee, and uh, we gonna get the we gonna get the show started, man. I've been clean 33 years, man. Respect the truth. What's up, man? Uh, I've been clean 33 years, man. Today, today, 33 years. I don't smoke no weed. I don't do none of that. I don't smoke no weed, I don't drink no beer, I don't drink champagne, I don't drink liquor. When I take a honey out on a date and she wanna get a drink, she say, oh, I wanna drink. She say, Sean, you gonna have a drink? I be like, nah, go ahead and knock yourself out. You get you some. I want some orange juice. Or I'm gonna get me half orange juice, half pineapple juice. I don't drink. Hit that life button. Let me get my coffee real quick. And I got some uh, some munchkins. Hold up. Stay right there. Let me take my keys out. Yeah. What's up, man? Hit the button, man. What's going on with y'all, man? Y'all gotta, uh, yo, Jill Brooks, what's up, man? Jill down there in North Carolina, shit, man. North Carolina and whatnot, man. Thank everybody for congratulating me on my 33 years. I don't get high, man. I don't get high, man. Never that. Never, never smoke weed, never, never going to do that, never going to do that. Check me out, never going to smoke weed, never going to do that right there. Yeah, yeah, you see it, man, you see it, man, you see it, never going to smoke weed, man, never, never, no, no. No, no, no. Yo, Sean, you want a beer? Nah, nah. Why you don't want no beer, Sean? I don't drink. I don't drink. Why you don't drink? Nah, man. I just don't, man. I just don't. I'm allergic to it. I'm allergic to that, man. I'm allergic to beer. I'm allergic to weed. I'm allergic to liquor. I'm allergic to wine. I'm allergic to all of that stuff, man, because I break out in poverty, man. I break out in a rash, and the rash is called poverty. I don't need that in my life. I don't need that in my life. You know what I'm saying? Can y'all see me good? Can y'all see me good? I break out in poverty, man. Smoke no weed, man. Smoke weed over there. Go over there with them. They smoke weed over there. I don't smoke no weed, man. I need my mind and my body to be pure, right, and clean. Thank you. Thank everybody that's congratulating me, man. Thank you. See what I'm saying? See, when you smoke weed, when I used to smoke weed, you, 
I had memory problems, man. You be forgetting shit. Wait, hold up. Where my keys? Hold. What? Uh, what? What time is it? Ah, I had to go pick up my daughter over there. Ah, what? Oh shit. I had an appointment. I forgot. Damn. Ah, man. Where my money at? Nah, man. You be confused because your mind be fogged up and clouded up. I don't need that in my life. I want to thank all 24 people for hitting the life button for me, man. You understand? I don't need that in my life, man. Thank you, man. Everybody that's congratulating me, man. You understand? With my wallet. Oh, my money. Wait, hold up. Ah. Man, what I do, huh? I got to do what? That was today? I thought that was next week. Ah, oh, man. I missed it? Ah, oh, man. What? Ah, uh, what? Yeah, nah, never that. Never that. You understand? Nigga gotta be clean, man. Nigga gotta be clean. My breath smell good. You smoke weed, your breath stink. You drink, your breath stink. Your clothes stink. Your car stink. You smoke weed in the car. You smoke weed in the car. The weed come through. You put the air conditioner on. You made a little fly, honey. You made a little fly, honey. You gonna take her out. But you smoke weed in your car. She don't smoke weed. She get in. She say, turn on the heat. Turn on the air conditioner. You turn on the air conditioner. The weed coming through the vent. You didn't fuck the pussy up. Who that right there? Brian Diaz. Man, goddamn Brian Diaz. Thank you for the coffee joint. Thank you for the super chat, Brian. This, this today's coffee is sponsored by Brian Diaz. You got the fly honey in the car. She got on the dope panties. She got on the boy short panties with the lace in the front. You understand? Then she got on like the, the cheetah skin bra, the leopard skin bra. You finna hit it. You gonna hit it. Cause you done talked up on it all week. You done talked up on it all week. Goddamn Jita. Jita done sent a nigga $4. You done talked up on the kitty cat all week. It ain't nothing left to do but get to get, uh oh, goddamn MZ. Runners high is better. MZ, Zane, huge channel supporter. Zane, thank you. You understand? You getting ready to hit it. You done talked up on the kitty cat all week. She ready to give you some. You done already talked up on it. You done sent pictures back and forth. She done sent you pictures of her in the shower. You done sent, then you go pick her up. You get in the car. She say, it's hot. Can you turn on the air conditioner? Then you turn on the air conditioner and the weed smoke come out of the vent and blow on her. And she be like, oh man, I don't want to get this nigga none. You done messed up the kitty cat. You done messed it up. You done messed it up. You done messed it up just that quick. You understand? Unless, unless she smoked weed too. But I don't want no honey that smoke weed. I don't want no honey that smoke cigarettes, smoke weed. Goddamn MZ got that soul glow. 19 months strong. MZ, thank you for your channel membership. Hey, yo, Jita, join the channel membership, man. I don't want no honey. I don't want to kiss no honey that smoke cigarettes. I don't want to kiss no honey that smoke weed. I don't want, nah, 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 nah. Go kiss him. You smoke cigarettes, but you smoke Newport? You smoke Newports? But you smoke Cools? Huh? Marlboro? Or Winston-Salem? Smoke Winston's? Yeah, nah. I never kiss you. I don't want to kiss no honey that smokes cigarettes or smoke weed. No, no, no. The only thing I could do, the only thing I could do if you smoke weed and you smoke cigarettes, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to hit it. But I'm not going to kiss you when I hit it. You understand? And I like to kiss a honey when I'm hitting it. You understand? I like to... Goddamn, stick my tongue all in her mouth. She liked for me to do that. 
she tell me, she says, Sean, she says, Sean, put them big pretty lips on me. So that's what I do. But if you smoke cigarettes or you smoke weed, I'm just gonna hit it. I ain't kissing you with nothing. And then as soon as I'm done hitting it, I'm out of there. Out of there. Out of there. Out of there. Spilled mustard on my sweatpants. Spilled mustard on my sweatpants. Big Lou, Big Lou, thank you for your channel membership. Listen, man, I don't use drugs, man. So I'm not gonna deal with no honey that get high. We got nothing in common, man. We going in two different directions. You going that way, and I'm going that way. You going that way, I'm going that way. This is sick. This is it. But to all the young dudes, because some of y'all smoke weed, to all the young dudes that get high, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. And this ain't nothing I read in no book. This ain't nothing somebody called me on the phone and told me. You understand? This ain't something I saw on a movie or on a documentary. I lived this for my real life. If you smoking weed and drinking and getting high and using drugs, you are wasting a lot of precious time. 100%, 1000%, 1000%, you wasting a lot of precious time. You understand? In my opinion, you do what you wanna do, I don't care. You understand? Me, personally, I'm going to stay clean. I'm going to stay clean. That's why I look as good as I look. Look at how good I look. Look at this shit, man. Man, look at this, man. I want to thank all the 40 people that hit the life button. This is a channel of life. This is no goddamn nigga buffoonery channel. Let's see how much buffoonery we could do. This ain't that kind of channel. I'm not a buffoon. I'm not a black buffoon. I'm not a black court jester. A black comic. I'm not none of that. I keep telling y'all, I'm a scholar with a high intelligence quotient. I have a tremendous brain. I have a tremendous brain. I have a tremendous spirit, a tremendous mind, a tremendous heart. I'm an amazing individual, man. I'm, a, I'm an amazing individual, man. I spilled mustard on my, look at that, I spilled mustard on my motherfucking sweatpants. Let me get it off. I was eating a sausage before. I put mustard on my junk. I put mustard on my sausage. You eat sausages? You eat sausage? I was eating them red hots. You know them red hots? Man, hit the life button, man. This coffee is thankful to Brian Diaz, man. This coffee is sponsored by Brian Diaz. Brian Diaz, thank you very much. I want to thank everybody that super chatted me, Brian Diaz, Emmanuel Jita, MZ, the whole crew, the whole crew. 
Thank everybody for congratulating me. Appreciate y'all. You understand? But I'm so glad I'm clean. I'm so glad I'm clean, man. Yes. When I started smoking weed, when I picked up weed in the seventh grade, that's where I picked up weed at. I was 12. I was 12. I picked up weed. My man said he stole some weed from his father. He said, Sean, you want to smoke some weed? I said, yeah, bet, let's do it. And that was the beginning of the end. That was the beginning of the end, man. And I started smoking weed in the seventh grade. And it was fun. Oh man, when we first started smoking weed, man, it was so much fun. I used to laugh, everything was funny. Then we used to go to the liquor store and stand outside the liquor store and get a, a grown up to go in for us and cop us some beer. Karen, what's up, baby? Thank you, Karen. I think that package gonna come back, Karen, either to me or they gonna deliver it to you, man. I wanna thank you for buying the shirts. I got $10 shirts on my website, gumbypublishing.bigcartel.com. Go over there and get you some shirts. Once I sell out of these $10 shirts, that's gonna be the last of them. And we used to stand outside the liquor store and get an adult to go in and cop us a case of beer or a six pack or whatever. And man, we would drink and smoke weed, get high and laugh and have fun and commit petty crime. And I thought I was uh, onto something. I thought I had graduated, I had elevated my life I thought I had edge elevated my maturity. But little did I know that the weed was gonna lead me to angel dust. I used to get dusted, I used to get dusted. That the weed was gonna lead me to volumes, to speed, to uh, LSD. Mescaline. Ah, man. And took away, took away all of my happiness. It took away all of my innocence. It took away my baseball career. All my athleticism. Goddamn. Jules OC. That's my nigga from Queens. Much respect to you on this day, Mr. G. Thank you for your honesty, show of discipline and leadership. That's my nigga from Queens. That's my nigga from Queens right there. Queens, New York. Over there. Over there. Asian dude. Asian dude. Speak Spanish and all that. See, I got a multicultural platform. Everybody's welcome here. You know say Everybody's welcome here. But the drug... <laughs> took away my academics. I went from being, I went from being in gifted and talented as a uh, seventh grader, you know, where they separate the dumb motherfuckers from the smart ones, and you put gifted and talented over here, and then you put the dummies over there. I was in gifted and talented. I was, I was always academically smart. I've always been brilliant. I'm a brilliant person, I'm a brilliant man very smart i've been like this my whole life but when i got involved with the drugs when i got involved with the weed then came the cocaine everything went out the back door everything everything collapsed all bets were off i started making instead of making a's and b's i started making c's and d's instead of going to class i started to cut school i started to get in school suspension out of school suspension arrested by the police 
going to New York, buying weed, selling weed, going to New York, buying cocaine, selling cocaine. All of this as a teenager. All of this as a teen. Dumb. Dumb. Quit baseball. Quit football. Quit the track team. Quit wrestling. Quit lacrosse. Quit everything. I quit everything. I quit all sports. I was athletic. I was athletic. You see how I look. You see how my body look. You know how great I look. You know how I look athletic still today because I'm a motherfucking athlete. I'm an athlete. But I quit everything because my mind, I was high. And my mind said, yo, Sean, quit that. You ain't got to go to practice every day. Don't be great, Sean. Be mediocre. Don't be great, Sean. Be a failure. That's what the drugs told me. That's what weed told me. Sean, don't be an overachiever. Just do enough to get by. That's what the weed told me. Somebody gave me a super chat. Irving Forbes, I saw you in Times Square. Keep rocking, pure Vita. Goddamn Irving, goddamn Irving Forbes was in Times Square. He saw me in Times Square in New York. In New York, he saw me in New York. But this New York, if you come to New York now, that ain't no New York. If you come to New York now, people be saying, yo, I'm going to New York. I'm going to New York. I be like, where? Because the real New York is 1987, 1986, 88, 89. Now that was New York. This here, over there now, that's Disneyland, the Sesame Street. You understand? That's goddamn Great Adventure, Carol Wins, Magic Mountain, Hollywood. That ain't no New York. That ain't no New York. Real New York. The real New York. The old school New York where you just couldn't walk through Harlem. No. No. You go to Harlem now. You go to Harlem now. It's all Asians, white people from Connecticut and Long Island, uh, Europeans, Chinese, ain't even no more niggas in Puerto Ricans in Harlem no more. Ain't no niggas in Puerto Rican in Harlem. Harlem, ain't even no Harlem no more. It's called gentrification. Times Square ain't the real Times Square. The Times Square the Times Square and the Times Square in 1986, 87, you couldn't even walk through there. It was dangerous. As soon as you come out of Port Authority right there, you saw, man, anything, you, you might as well, you could get shot on 42nd Street. You get stabbed, robbed on 42nd Street. You get pussy on 42nd Street. They used to suck your dick right on the sidewalk. This is New York. This is New York. Real New York. But anyway, the drugs lied to me. The drugs lied to me. Took everything worth something. Destroyed my relationship with my mother. Destroyed my relationship with myself that I never got to develop because I was a child when I started. You understand? And the drugs made me think that everything that I did, all the harm that I caused to myself, the drugs convinced me that it was somebody else's fault. Yes, it did. Yes, they did. The weed, the weed and the drugs and the liquor and the alcohol had me convinced that everything that was going wrong in my life that I was playing a major part in doing because I destroyed my life. When you put foreign substances and chemicals in your body, right? All you could do is just destroy your soul, right? You destroy your cognitive functions, right? You explode and you tap into your uh, pleasure center of your brain where your dopamines and endorphins lie and you have these 
uh, artificial feelings of pleasure that are induced by chemicals. So the drugs and alcohol had me blaming everybody in the world for my problem. Telling you the truth. I'm telling you about my life. I don't know about your life. You understand? I don't know nothing about your life. I know about my life. And I destroyed my life. All of my teen years, I got clean when I was 21. Throughout the whole 1980s. The whole 1980s, man. You understand? I was high. The whole 1980s. From 1981 until 90. And I blame everybody for my problems. I blame my girl. I blame my mother. I blame my father. I blame the white man. I blame the United States government. I blame uh, Margaret Thatcher. I blame Margaret Thatcher. I blame um, the British government. I blame everybody but me. Everybody but me. And, uh, you know, just dropped out of college, went to college. I was, I destroyed myself, man. Yes, I did. Almost got killed a few times. Somebody in this lot right here, on this lot. Um, you know, and I don't like to say that woulda, coulda, shoulda, I coulda did this had it not been for that. Because all of my experiences, my good and my bad, I'm a sum total of all of my experiences, right? The, 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 uh, the unfortunate things, all of that stuff shaped me to be who I am, right? And I'm proud of who I am, you understand? And you have to, you know, adversity, uh, if it's done, if it's adversity, if it's confronted and viewed in the proper perspective, it could make you great. You understand? You can use adversity to make you a great person. Right? So I don't, I don't say, oh, Sean, you could have did this. You could have did that. You know, I didn't do it, right? This is my life. But see, what I learned what I learned from number one, I'm thankful I survived my drug addiction because I almost got killed a few times in Harlem and Atlanta. And then I got involved in selling drugs, almost got killed trying to do that too. So number one, I'm grateful that I survived to live to do this live, right? And the wisdom and the knowledge that I gained from uh, experiencing that life, I could only get by practical real world experience, right? You can't read about that and get it. You can't listen to it on some Bluetooth, you, you gotta live that shit, right? You have to live it. And uh, 
Look how that sun beaming on me. That sun, I look good in the sun, don't I? Don't I look good? Yeah, I know I do. Um, I look good every day. Every day I wake up. When I go to sleep, I look good. When I wake up, I look even better. That's, that's how my life is. I don't know why. Because I don't get high. I don't drink and I don't get high. And see, when I got clean, when I got clean, you understand? Can y'all see me clear? Can y'all see me clear? Somebody's saying it's not clear. Shout out to everybody, man. Clear as day. Goddamn G to say it's clear as day. See, when I got clean, right? I, for, I remember, man, like it was, I remember like it was last week. I remember just like being exhausted, right? And tired of getting high, tired of looking bummy. You know what I'm saying? Tired of of underperforming, right? Tired of achieving, tired of suffering, right? Tired of just looking like shit, right? Tired of feeling like that. And I said, man, and almost getting killed, right? I said, man, I got to stop, man. Cause the pain, the pain that got so great, right? The pain had got so great that I couldn't go no I couldn't I couldn't go on no further, man. You understand? And uh I said, man, I got to change, man. You understand? And uh I remember I was dealing with this girl and she had left me, man. She was, we was together for like three years, three and a half years. And my addiction had got so bad, she dipped, she bounced. And um, I was sitting at home, I was done, man. I was finished. And I, I called her, I said, yo, I said, yo, you gotta find somebody, man. Call this place and tell them to come get me, man. Something's wrong with me, man. And she called and um, my mother came, she came, and the dude from the treatment center came. And he came and picked me up and uh, I had dropped out of college. I didn't have no job. And uh, my mother was dead. She was heartbroken, man. I was heartbroken. And the dude came, his name was Nate. I never will forget Nate, man. Nate saved my life. Nate saved my life, man. And Nate, me and Nate left. And um he took me up to the treatment center and uh, he got me in the car and he said, I looked over at him. He said, man, he says, man, you know, I used to get high too. This is what he told me. And I looked at him and he said, I said, yo, man, is it going to be all right? He said, yeah, Sean, it's going to be all right. And a tear rolled down my eye. And that was like the first time I had cried in years because you don't feel nothing when you get high. You just be numb, right? And from that day, I never looked back. I never got high again, never drank, never nothing. You understand? One tear, Jeter, motherfucking rolled down my face. That was it. That was it. And you know what I'm saying? That's it, man. You understand? 
I never looked back and I stayed clean. And today is 33 years from that day. I was living in Atlanta at the time. Yep, I got clean in Atlanta, man. And uh, what I can say is my life didn't do nothing but get better. From the moment I stopped getting high, my life got nothing but better. You understand? And I just never went back, man. I just never went back. I know a lot of people that I got clean with that relapsed and OD'd and died. Some committed suicide. Some uh, went back to get high and still getting high. Never got clean. But That wasn't me, man. You understand? I remember, I remember when I was in, uh, when I was in rehab, right? It was about, it was about 75, 80 of us in this room, right? And one of the speakers came in and said, only one out of 38 gonna make it. Only one out of 38 gonna make it. And I said, damn. I looked around the room. I looked around. Oh, shit. I said, yo. I said this to myself. I said, yo. Y'all niggas ain't gonna make it. Cause I'm gonna make it. And that was my attitude, man. That was my attitude. And I never, never got high not one time since then. Shout out to the 100 people in the room, man. I want to thank all 80 people for the life buttons, man. And then after I got clean, I went back to school. I finished up my degree. Then I went and got my master's degree here at NJIT. Just things just got all together better, man. And you know what I'm saying, to this day, that's how I live, man. You understand? I don't waste my life. I don't waste my time, you understand? I'm a foundational black American, you understand? So to be, to be wasting time with that kind of shit is me making it harder on myself than what it has to be. You understand? So I don't do that, man. Y'all see, I got my son in my life. And, uh, you know, I got a good life, man. I got a good life. You can look and see how pretty my skin is. You understand? Nigga money, man. Nigga money, man. Marvin Adams, what's up, man? Shout out to my man Marvin. Marvin, what's up down there in DC, DMV? Shout out to Marvin, man. Marvin supports the platform. Everything I sell, he buy. Excuse me. Everything I sell, he buy. You understand? I don't have to worry about, you understand, looking all dusty. You understand? I ain't got to do all that. These people up here looking at the car, they looking out at me. They staring. They see me looking at it. They think I'm crazy because they can't see the phone. Marvin, everything is good, man. We chilling, man. You understand? All the young dudes out there getting high, man, wasting your life. Wasting your life, man. Wasting your time. I've seen it, man. I've seen it. You more than what you become, man. You better than what you done become. You better than that. You know what I'm saying? You better than you better than you better than what you become, man. I want to thank my man Brian Diaz for the dope coffee.
I wouldn't dare get high, man. I wouldn't dare get high. That stuff is of no use to me. I can't use it. You know what I'm saying? I can't use it. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. I just wanted to spread the love, especially to the young dudes, man. All the young dudes. Don't follow these rappers, man. Don't follow these rappers, man. You understand? Follow yourself. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Shout out to all my members, man. John Pete, what's up? Shout out to my nigga John Pete. What's going on, y'all? Talk to me. Somebody tell me something. Somebody tell me something, man. I'ma eat all little Sean's munchkins. Anybody got any question? Anybody got any questions, man? Before I get up out of here? There go my girl, Tawanda Garner. Tawanda, what's up, man? Thank you for that $10 super chat. You should have just bought you a membership, Tawanda. Thank you for the super chat, Tawanda. I saw you telling me to say hi to you and all that. See, I don't know. Sometimes it be fake people on here with fake profiles. Um, but I appreciate you, Tawanda. Thank you, man. If it's really you, if, if, it's, if you're really Tawanda, I don't know, sometimes, man, people be lying, saying they this person, they that person, and they really be somebody else. But thank you, Tawanda, I appreciate you for the super chat. Oh, that's my girl from Chi-Town, yeah, Chicago, yeah, what up, what up, Chi? What's up, Chicago? Brian Diaz, clean for eight years. There you go, Brian. Congratulations, man. All the best to you, man. Eight years is a hell of an accomplishment. You should be proud, man. Eric Brown, what's up, baby? Thank you for your membership, Eric. Five minutes after six, I gotta go pick Sean up for baseball practice, man. What's up with you, Tawanda? What's going on in the shop, man? What's up in the shop? It's cold out there. It's like 50 something here. We getting there though. North Carolina, what's up, man? Shout out to North Carolina, man.
I thank all y'all for supporting the platform, man. I hope you get something from it. Uh, thank you, man. I hope you get something from the from uh, from the platform. You understand? Cause that's what we about. You understand? Showing love. Who that right there? Keenan Wright got 12 years. Excellent, Keenan. Congratulations, man. Listen, man, when you stop getting high, you stop drinking, your life changes instantly, man. It's an instant upgrade. Instant. Instant. From the very next day, it's an instant upgrade, man. Unstoppable. I appreciate you, man. Go get a t-shirt off the website, man. Gonna be publishing.bigcartel.com. All y'all go get a t-shirt. I got some $10 t-shirts in the clearance section, in the welfare, food stamp section, in the government assistance, uh, section eight, uh, EBT welfare section. There's some $10 t-shirts there. And then for the true players, for the real uh, high achievers, you know, for the real players on the planet um i got some hoodies for 325 dollars and i got some 50 dollars shirts 50 dollars scullies you understand those that's typically my price range but i got something for uh the welfare crew for y'all marvin look at they laughing <laughs> yeah derek thomas man he got the ebt yeah the welfare yeah, now I don't take no food stamp. No, I don't take no food stamp. But I got food stamp section for you. But you got to buy them before they run out. All right. Yeah. Y'all niggas crazy. Y'all like when I talk like that, don't you? I ain't never been on welfare in my life. Never been on food stamps. I never been on government assistance. I wouldn't accept nothing from the United States government. I don't want nothing. No help from this government nothing me as a foundational black american a descendants of the slaves of this country i don't want nothing i don't want no reparations from the government i don't want no food stamp nothing because i don't want to feel i would feel like if i accept something from the government that like you know what i'm saying like you compensated me for what you took from me nah you stole I know you stole, so you got to deal with that with the universe. Some moon and stars is going to deal with you. I can't be purchased. You understand? I can't be purchased. I don't want nothing from this government. You're going to have to deal with the universe, kid. I'm too big of a man. I'm too arrogant. I'm too conceited. To like get food stamps or welfare, fuck out of here. Never Sean G. No. No. I'll go back to cleaning windows before I do that. I'll do anything. Clean bathrooms before I get any. Before I go begging this government to help me and little Sean. Never. 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 I'm a man first. Man's supposed to take care of a man. I can kill a zebra. I know how to kill a wildebeest. You understand? I know how to kill an antelope, a gazelle. I know how to do all of that. I'll, I'll make it. I'll survive. I know how to kill my own warthog. I don't need no help. I got it. Hit that life life button, y'all got 97. We're gonna get a hundred. Get a hundred life buttons, man. What's up, y'all? 98. This is this shirt is my NJI t-shirt, New Jersey Institute of Technology. This is where I did my master's degree at. I graduated with honors in my master's degree. I graduated with a 3.28 grade point average. Come Lord, with honors. Yes, I did. 100 life buttons, thank y'all. I didn't have no, I didn't have no side effects from getting clean, man. 
I didn't have any. I, you know, when you first, when I first got clean, I would think about getting high, like the first 90 days. You know, I would wake up and be like, damn, I ain't get high yesterday at all. Oh, snap. Oh, shit, I didn't get high. Damn, I ain't got high in two weeks. Oh, snap. Or if I would like ride past a liquor store, if I would ride past a liquor store, like my stomach would flip and shit, but I'd be like, nah, man. Because I would play the tape all the way through. I would play the tape all the way through. I would say, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a 40, then I'm gonna drink the 40, then I'm gonna wanna smoke some weed, and then once I smoke the weed, I'm gonna want some blow. And once I get with the blow, I'm gonna wanna smoke some crack, and then I'm back to square one. I'm done, finished. So I didn't, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't have like no side effects. But like now, today, I don't even think about getting high, man. I go in the liquor store and get me a pack of gum or soda. Ain't no way I'm getting high, man. No way. No way. Ever. You know what I'm saying? I don't, uh, I don't do that. We live. I live life. You know, life is worth living. I got a good life. I got a good life, man. Strong will, strong mind, strong heart, strong nigga. I'm strong. Thank you. Somebody said congrats. Who's that? Core Mechanics, what's up, man? Shout out to you and your daughter, man. Yeah, I can't, I can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. as a loser? No, not me. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Do 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 Man, I look too good to get high, man. I don't watch porn, man. If I'm gonna watch porn, I'm gonna watch porn with a female. If I'm gonna watch porn, I'm gonna watch porn with a honey laying next to me. Man, shout out to my man with 11 days clean, man. Shout out to you, man. Congratulations, man. I'm proud of you, man. 11 days is a good accomplishment, man. Now you want to double that up and get 22. I'm not going... I don't watch porn to sit around and jerk off all day. Nah. If I want to get my... If I want to bust a nut... I'm going to get me some pussy, right? If I'm going to watch some porn, I'm going to watch it with a female. We're going to watch it together so we can heighten our sexual experience. Nah. I have been there where I have watched porn before, but nah, I ain't doing that. That's a waste of time. That's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Shit fell on the floor. Hold on, yo. Yeah, so that's how that go. That's how that go. Man, shout out to your moms. All right, all right. Christian Alexander TV, man. Congratulations, man. I ain't got no friends, man. I don't want no friends. I ain't got no friends. You know who my friend is? You looking at him. And little Sean is my friend. That's it. 
I ain't got no friends and I don't want no friends. Hold on, y'all drop my gum down here. Hold up. Here you go, I got it. I ain't got no friends and I don't want none. I know who my friends are who sent me money when I was in federal prison, who sent me clothes to wear out when I got when I got released. Huh? What song y'all wanna hear, man, so we can ride out you, man? I'll debate any of them presidents, man. I'll debate anybody, man. What y'all want to listen to on it? What y'all want to ride out to, man? What song? Good Day Ice Cube? Call McCain. Yo, McCain, I don't want to listen to that, man. I don't want to listen to that. Michael Jackson, Eric B. and Rock Kim. I ain't no joke. All right. Come on. Now this is this is real New York hip hop right here, man. Shot G Digital Underground. Three layers of plush comfort you can see and feel. Keep it quilted because